A battle is brewing in the Providence school system. More than 50 teachers got non-renewal notices. To save more than $4.5 million. In tonight's Crisis in the Classroom report, NBC 10's Liz Bates and takes a look at the fallout that's followed. The state-run school district faces a financial struggle. This is a perfect storm. Um, with collateral damage. As 51 teachers without tenure receive non-renewal notices in Providence, that includes physical education teachers, Spanish and social studies teachers, school counselors, and social workers. It, it will still have an adverse impact on children, and that's that's who we're here to serve. The Providence School Board accuses the superintendent's office of mishandling funds, ultimately leading to these cuts. In this letter obtained by the NBC 10 I team, a Providence School Board finance chair accuses the district of misallocating federal COVID relief money. The deputy superintendent fired back, saying the district used that money to extend school days and hire social workers. In that same letter sent by the school board, the finance chair suggests alternative ways to save money rather than cutting teacher positions, including requiring teachers to pay for parking and restricting the hiring of substitute teachers. It's one of those things where we are in such dire need for answers and such dire need for money um, and to support bringing back these teachers that uh, she just put everything on the table. I spoke with one school board member who says he'd rather see the superintendent staff take a pay cut to bring those teachers back. Our high level administrators are on a whole different scale and have received, you know, thousands of dollars in increases. I felt as if that was unethical for, you know, us giving the administration higher, you know, pay, but then the teachers were, you know, were impacting them by non-renewing them. In Providence, Liz Bateson, NBC 10 News.